Good morning. I'm Higher Vibrations and so are you. There's a lot happening for many of us through that solar eclipse or that lunar eclipse experience that we had. The 5-5 five, five portal, the, the beginning of, I can't remember what meteor shower right now. Um, just all of these different events have really amplified the experience. And now we have this inbound uh, like geo storm is what they're calling it. So we're getting a lot of sol solar flares coming in again. And we're already feeling it. Honestly, it feels like PMS. Male, female, whatever. Most of us are going through a PMS-y kind of experience. There's moments of euphoria. Then there's moments of rage feeling almost. For me, it, it comes through as incredible frustration and, and comes out also as anger and occasion. Though most of the time, it's irritabil irritability. Um, there are more frequently individuals like in the, the not knowing that they're awakened yet kind of population where they're not really aware of what's happening, but they're still sensing it. Many of them are lashing out on it, um, out at people, their neighbors, their friends, their family, fill in the blank, everybody. And so there's a lot of that kind of stuff and a lot of like energy that just feels like, Ugh. and I, it's a call to Go in and go within. So you don't have to go out and be part of large crowd groups if you can avoid it. Um, and so there's a lot of like drive to go in, you know, go meditate when, as much as possible. Be on your own as much as possible. Even if being on your own means being in a different room or even a different part of a room of somebody, the best we can do, you know. And so um, a lot of times I'm finding that my need to connect with, with the earth is a much more increased experience right now. And let's actually talk about the root for a moment. A lot of us have been really good in these upper areas of chakras. So the heart and above is like your home base, right? And that's just a typical experience. And then we awaken and, and we we'll begin our awakening journey and we start to say, open third eye, open. I need to open all this and become evolved when we're actually really good up here already, which is great. You can do all the work you want. Though the other chakras down below, the three, the root, the sacral, and the solar plexus have been neglected as a result. And that's okay. Now it's very useful for us to take the time to spend more time focusing on grounding, allowing that energy to pull through rather than pushing it from above by the momentum of the other chakras to pull it from the root, watching in meditation this energy digging into the soil beneath you. A lot of the symptoms that we're having in the sacral is due to this. Many, many, many people, oh my goodness, everybody it seems, are discussing this pain in the stomach, this discomfort, this pressure, a lot of conversation about feeling congested or even like constipated when they're not. You know, in fact, many of them are the opposite of constipated. You know, that's another point. A lot of us are having some amazing release, purging things going on, lots of frequency to the bathroom um, in every way, you know, and so... Though the energy feels constipated, often it's not. It's that that binding up of the energy that people are having. And so letting yourself go through that and dig through to the soil really helps in, in, in inviting the color that is significant for that chakra. So this one we're talking about is orange. Then there we have the golden yellow is also one that needs to be addressed or likes to be seen as well as the root chakra. Connecting to those energies will really help you out. Womb stuff, pregnancy symptoms, feeling like they're pregnant, or even and having these sensations of of recent or in the middle of giving birth or having just given birth. Um, another one that a lot of people are having is the sensation of being birthed. So that's been happening for a little while, to be honest. It's been going on for quite some time, though the frequency of people discussing it has increased quite a lot. So there's a lot of that kind of stuff, just birthing in general. So we grounded the feminine, the divine feminine, we grounded the divine masculine, and we grounded the golden child. And the golden child is the result, though even though the golden child, the Christ consciousness golden child anchors before the divine masculine, it's like in a limbo state until the divine masculine comes in and kind of chink and makes it be something that is balanced and useful. And so a lot of us will feel out of balance right now because we're waiting for that divine masculine to fully anchor in again. What's interesting is that we're doing this during the, the 
the win window of time where women are celebrated. We just had an International Women's Day. I think I've, I've actually never heard of that holiday till this year. Um, and then there's Mother's Day and just all this this female stuff, you know, and and at the same time, we're having this divine masculine anchoring. So it, it feels a lot more laps lopsided than the last time. So a lot of us feel really disoriented. Um, a lot of vertigo, lightheadedness, and dizziness stuff, along with this disorientation, almost feeling like gravity has been switched in your, the room and you're not sure where your feet are supposed to go. That kind of sensation has been amplified a lot more. And so while we're having this stuff, a lot of this detoxing, this weird quick bowel movement kind of stuff that's happening, there's a lot of this energy that just needs to to move out of the way. You know, and so it's moving through us very rapidly in order to make room for other things and the things that are the highest joy for us, the more correct for us. And so as that's happening, the disorientation and the feeling dizzy and all that stuff on top of it, um, the out of focus vision. So this, this isn't a, a, a realized experience. This is something that most people have the sensation of and don't really, the doctors are saying your eyes are great. You don't need a new prescription if you do, do wear contacts or, or, or glasses or anything like that. And what this is, is this frequency of raising our frequency up from here to where other things are resonating at. When we raise our frequency to where another frequency is resonating, then we can see it. And when we raise, we raise up like this. We do this kind of thing. We don't tend to go straight up like we, you would expect. And as a result, we have this kind of sensation. So in and out of sight, we're seeing things for the first time that we hadn't been able to see before. This is true all over. There are so many examples of this right now. It's popping up all over YouTube. Of these, these all of a sudden, this, ma this amazing archaeological discovery is being made. They don't know how they didn't see it before. Well, we couldn't in, in a lot of those cases, not every one of them, though that that's really fun to see that happening. And so as that's, that's occurring globally, people are starting to see more things. There's this disorientation with the eyes. Along with that, we're also seeing things like the, the orb lights, the lights that are like these orbs that move in and move around and kind of tickle around your head and just kind of come and look like they're going to come smell you or something and see how you're doing. Kind of a lot of those energies. They're really, really common, guys. We have them. We always have had these guys hanging out. They've been around since as far as I can recall. They've always been around. It's simply that many were not able to perceive it before along with other things like um, seeing actual like so it would be like the my, if I had a white a very faded white aura around my body though I was not standing within it and that visual for for that experience is this thing cut this individual coming into focus for you is what that is and so first of course you will see the brightest whitest part and that's what's being seen so you're being shown gradually on on purpose as well as what I'm getting right now and so in in order to not uh, attempt to not startle and we all knew that too so it, thank you for that reminder you know and so as it slowly comes into focus it's not like huh I'm Bob <laughs> you know whatever's happening and so um this will let you slowly understand they are here they have been here they've been here part of your light team for a really long time they're just saying hi so along with that nausea like or there was a lot of nausea like stuff going going on with this area so let's focus on that conversation for a minute so we have the throat a lot of stuff on both sides of the throat or right here in this uh uh thi um, thyroid area here or thymus i guess that's what it's called i said called it the wrong thing last time this area right here a lot of stuff happening there and there that's where a higher heart is your higher heart's been there a long time it's just you're starting to sense it and so there's a lot of like this digestive tract kind of stuff happening for a lot of people feeling nause, nause, nauseous as well as like gallbladder and liver kind of stuff mostly over on the right side of the of the belly area there's a lot of kind of sensation happening there and that's been happening for a little bit as we've been anchoring in this divine masculine the last time it happened it was much more severe for me though if you're new to this journey it may, it may be at the time when it's severe for you it's a fleeting experience lots of times it feels kind of like being pregnant and like the baby kicking against it you kind of feel that sensation it's kind of weird though that's that's a lot of what that is um and also please remember that that often if not always 
Our body's telling us something when it's speaking of discomfort, when it's showing you signs of symptoms of some kind. You know, um, when it comes to specific areas of your, of your body, it's telling you, hey, this is something that needs to be healed. Look it up if you'd like. On the internet, go into a, 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 a search engine and, and look up, you know, liver, what emotion is connected to the liver. And as we heal through these things, as we take the guidance of our body, it's been showing us this whole time what it is that it needs from us as it comes through and says, how about this one? And then we have the time to take care of that emotional base, that area that's been neglected through lifetimes or ancestral heritage lines or even galactic heritage lines. You know, as it turns out, where our ancestral healing isn't just earthbound. And so there's a lot of stuff that we're doing in that way. This weird thing with the eyelids happens a lot right now, and I'm not sure what that is. It feels burned, like the top of your the the top lid of your eyeball. It was on my left side, though. It was on my child. It was on the no, it was the left on that one too. But many people had reported the right rather than the left, and so that's something to keep in mind. You know, just that little. It feels almost like burned, but there's no visual of it. Maybe being red is all from irritation. I don't know. It's some kind of sight thing that's happening on top of everything else. Extreme exhaustion while also encountering a, a, a higher amount, higher frequency of heart, heart palpitations and noticing the weird tingly in the arms kind of stuff. Um, lack of motivation along with that irritability and what, want, having quite a bit more that you desire to accomplish. This has been a paradox that's been confusing and hard for me to deal with. Um, and therefore, nothing gets done. And then I spend all of my time being consumed by thinking about it. Um, so the pendulum emotion stuff, we're still having a lot of that. Though let's talk about, you know, of course, we have the ear ringing and all of that. On top of it, there's like this ear ringing brings in like this buzzy, fuzzy sensation. It feels, it feels euphoric. It's not uncomfortable this euphoric buzzy that's happening often happens immediately after i recognize all of this nervous gross energy that's kind of like flicking around me and then i'm just like no i do that in my energy like it's with love but i'm like eh -eh. so moving that out and all of a sudden this euphoric it's like okay replenish you're okay kind of energy is very fun actually um so the mouth stuff, well, mouth stuff's been really weird for everybody. Everybody's going through something with the throat activation being like the, the central point that most of us as a species um, are new in pulling into this place, into the mouth, th the throat chakra, you know, like many of us have done really good everywhere else. And so this is just a place that we've been concealing a lot for many, many, many incarnations we've been there's a lot of reason for that an example is the witch trials and, and just any type of persecution or um unpleasant consequence due to speaking your truth you know and um it wasn't very long ago that if someone saw a video like i record i would be in a hospital for mental patients you know and and there's a lot of things that revolving around this you know, barrier of the throat and to speak your truth um, and to be being your own authentic, your true authentic self. This barrier is being, has been lifted and now, and now it's like we're little kids that were just in the basement of some building forever. And now we're just reemerging and blinking at the brightness of the sun, not sure what to do, you know, and so allowing ourselves to just do it. Once the speech begins, it just goes. And when the flow begins and it grows with the, the conversation, as we release it, it unpacks it. So we may know one little part about something, but then there's been this barrier, this desire to hold it in. And so it's not been able to unfurl. And when it unfurls, suddenly we understand so much more than we realized we did and allowing it to come out, which is why we hold weekly Zoom meetings. These weekly Zoom meetings are free and they're designed for people to be able to come and to speak their truth. You don't have to have your camera on. You don't have to have your audio on. You know, just, just come and be a part of the group. It helps with this throat chakra stuff. Headaches, lots of crazy weird headaches. The, the band one, there's a lot happening when we're in our sleep, in our rest time. When we do get sleep, you know, speaking of not ever getting any sleep, that happens to me all the time these days. So tired. Um, 
And so while we're in sleep, we go to a lot of times where most every time we're in astral and we're doing some kind of work as well as being realigned, um, balancing us and helping us in a lot of different ways. Um, along with this other purging stuff, there's a lot of weird acne stuff and we're calling it acne though. It's not quite acne. It's just very similar to it. Um, and it's really frustrating. This is something that's happening for people all over their body, depending on the person. Um, I, I notice more and more a lot of focus, like just on the edge of the earlobe and the area of the earlobes. Right now, for me, both sides, it's really, <laughs> it's annoying. Um, also, like that little di dimple in the back of your neck, where so like your head is here, I guess, and then this place right here before your neck starts this area a lot of stuff like that that area a lot of stuff's happening there and so we're getting a lot of boils and a lot of weird rashes and stuff in that area um that's something else too is a lot of rashes throughout the body some of these rashes aren't actually vis visual they just have that pinkish hue because it's irritated um that's something that kind of feels a little bit like a light burn so that's um along with this feeling of, of electricity some people have reported even feeling like they were zapped by a wall outlet kind of electrocuted almost kind of a sensation this is really common right now being affected a lot of in the, the the joints area especially with so this electrocution concept the electricity feeling i'm noticing it in my joints and this for me and we've been talking about it for a while now as we clean our house with like where if we smudge or we're using sound bowls or something like that to clean the energy of our house we find that most of the energy that is not not harmonious for us spends time in the corners and the edges just like our body and so you'll find that a lot of the the density that we're, that we're like pulling away from like the band-aid like um is and is kind of feeling stuck almost. It's not stuck. That's just the concentration area. Okay. But so I'm pointing at my shoulders, but we're talking about every single joint. Along with this movement, we're having activations of our chakras. We have chakras with so many chakras, guys. Like 144 within your body, but then within each of those chakras, there's also seven. And that kind of amp multiplies and multiplies. And we're not even talking yet about above and above and above your energetic body. There's just so many chakras. So these chakras in the areas of our joints are being activated the most right now. The temple ones have been really interesting. It looks almost like a, a it kind of sees a little bit because I am having it right now. It looks kind of like a shadow or a bruise. It's really weird. And then it goes away. Like then it just, it's the strangest thing. When I feel better, it goes away. Um, and so a lot of that kind of stuff. So we're talking about the back as well. So that's a joint area that a lot of people are having um, struggles with. And the feet and the hands, all of a sudden, my hand began to really hurt. Like, and these fingers, so these two fingers and my thumb, really, really, just the, the amount of discomfort that I was having with them. I couldn't use my hand in any way. Uh, I ended up putting a brace on it for a while. As soon as it's, right after it started, I noticed that these two fingers, my fingernails were curling overnight. And as soon and I knew the whole time that I was having a healing activation so a lot of us are noticing if you don't have this this kind of discomfort I just discussed that your hands are just heating up also the soles of the feet are heating up or becoming amazingly cold in contrast to what's expected um, and then all of a sudden um, the healing starts to really work even stronger even faster it's it's amazing and beautiful um, I found that I was the most discomfort was was on the tips of my fingernails like I just and I, I needed to cut them off though at the same time I was trying to preserve them because I wanted to show and I, I just needed to cut them off and as soon as I cut the not not all the way down as soon as they were gone I felt I began to feel better like it was like it was filling the blood back into my body almost kind of turning my my hand back on away from the pain very bizarre there's a lot of stuff where we're detoxing we're moving out a lot of things that is not harmonious for our body and so as we activate our higher knowing a higher connection with our body and our body's ability and our energetic body's ability and all of that stuff 
We often will find the discomfort. The discomfort draws your attention to it. It says, let this purge. You know, like you feel all of a sudden you feel a zit and it's like, oh, that just, that needs to pop. You know, it needs to purge. That kind of example is happening for all of these things. And so allowing yourself to follow your body and in your desire with food, it's, that's been ever shifting and changing though. Right now there's like this unplanned fasting period where I just keep not having an appetite for meals. And then before I know it, it's been a long time. And then all of a sudden there's this hungry, you know, and all of a sudden it's back to the other one again. This is just what's happening, you know, and, and craving a variety of foods that your body isn't shouldn't you wouldn't think is actually familiar with even and and we're re reaching into this place where we're understanding more and more that our body needs a higher or different kind of of nutrients minerals and so on than it ever did before and pulling away more and more from what has become typical in the typical diet and so allowing all this stuff to happen Understanding that the purge is going to continue, that the pressure will keep moving things out and through the sinuses and the ears are still going to do their thing and the weird throat stuff and even the top of the lung kind of stuff. All of this stuff is just purging, allowing it to move out and giving it consent to do so is one of the best things that we can do for it. Rather than trying to cover it up, just give it permission to go. And then it does. I know that it's been really intense and that it's growing in intensity at this moment. You're going to be okay. Please don't give up. Join us. We are strong. We are many. And it is time. I love you so much. Thank you for your service. Aho blessings.